News. And pressure is mounting on President William Ruto to reshuffle his cabinet barely a year after forming government. Calls for a reshuffle are also coming from leaders in Kenya Kwanzaa. The latest flurry of words and renewed calls were stirred by a recent back and forth between members of the executive. And as KTN's political affairs reporter Daniel Karuki now explains, focus is now shifting on President Ruto's take on the calls. <laughs> As President William Ruto jets back from USA after addressing the United Nations General Assembly, hundreds of millions of people are besieged. He will be arriving home amidst a war of words in his ruling coalition and specifically his cabinet. Good morning, good people. The flurry of words has exposed the cabinet's soft underbelly. Trade, industry and investment cabinet secretary Moses Kuria has been on a war of words with Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa. Increased fuel prices and DP Gashagwa comments on being shareholders in government have torn the two apart. For me, all parts of Kenya are useful. There is no one part of Kenya that is useless. Are you not shareholders? You buy the uh, mere products that you have that can contribute to our jobs, contribute to our foreign exchange, contribute to our national GDP. Everybody in this country is a shareholder. This coming weeks after Senators Bonnie Halwale, Kilifi's Steward Mazayo and Nandi's Samson Cheralgei hit at some of Ruto's members of the cabinet. Mweshmua Rice, I want to tell you today from Kakamega, watu wenye umepatia kazi, wame kuingiza kwa nambaya sana. Mtu ambaya anaitua Minister for Trade, mtu ambaya anaitua Waziri wa Energy, your economic advisors. A section of Kenya Kwanzaa and Azimio leaders had engaged in a back and forth with sports CA Zababu Namwamba, calling for the removal of Ababu, accusing him of mishandling Kenyan athletes. But he is okay to appear before the committees, relevant committees, but he has a problem with being oversighted by plenary. Neither the leader of majority nor any member of parliament is here serving at the whim of any cabinet secretary. We are here as a people's representatives to oversight. This house can choose to transact its business in the manner it deems fit. It is not for anybody else. Caught up in the storm is held the CS Susan Nakumincha. Water CS Alice Wahome, Energy CS Davis Chirchir, among others, with the cabinet scoring a poor D grade in a recent opinion poll. And now pressure is mounting on President William Ruto to reorganize his cabinet as the cabinet celebrates its first anniversary next month. Critics have called on the president to make a bold decision to streamline service delivery and get the economic situation in the country back on track pointing out that the president has personally admitted that there is a problem in his cabinet. Hence, it is imperative for him to take the hard decision. Could the president take a cue from critics and reshuffle his cabinet? Daniel Karioki, KTN News. Right, it's now time to wrap it up our weekend at one at this hour. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Purity Musea Nzuki. Keep watching KT News and God bless.